Club at la copyright Tico Mineiro, commonly known at la copyright Tico and referred to as Galo, is a Brazilian multi-sport club based in Lourdes, a Barra Nova and the city of Belo Horizonte. Although they compete in a number of different sports, at la copyright Tico Mineiro is mostly known for its association football team. It plays in the Campeonato Mineiro, the state of Minas Gerais's Premier State League, as well as the Brasileira Pando the top tier of the Brazilian Football League system. The club was founded on March 25, 1908 by 22 Belorizontino students, being led by Marjival Mendes Leal and Mario Toledo as a response to the social discrimination practiced by many clubs elsewhere in Brazil. Despite being founded by upper-class founders, the club opened its doors to everyone regardless of social class, quickly establishing itself as a people's club. As a result, the club has the most supporters in the city and the second largest supporters in the state. Atla Copyright Tico Monero is also the oldest club of the Low Horizonte. Atla Copyright Tico Monero play their home games at the Estadio Independa NCIA, better known as the Independa NCIA, which currently holds up to 23,018 spectators. Atla Copyright Tico's regular kit is black and white striped shirts, with black shorts accompanied by white socks. Lupo are the kit manufacturers currently. Atla Copyright Tico is one of Brazil's most successful clubs, having won the Brasileira Pando in 1971, while also finishing runners-up on four occasions. Atla Copyright Tico Monero has also won the defunct Champions Cup 1937 and Brazil Champions Cup 1978 once each. They have won the Monero Championship 42 times, being the record holders as the most successful club in that competition. Ogalo is also the best performing club of the now defunct Copa Cumebol after the victories in 1992 and 1997. They were also finalists in 1995. Atla Copyright Tico also won the Copa Libertadores in 2013 with a squad composed of stars such as Bernard, Diego Tardelli, Ja, Victor, and Ronaldinho and are thus one of ten Brazilian clubs to have won it. The club managed to perform a double in 2013, winning both the Monero and the Copa Libertadores. Atla Copyright Tico hold a long-standing rivalry against Cruzeiro. It has contributed many key and famous players towards Brazil's FIFA World Cup squads such as Dario, Luiz Inu, Danino Cerezo, Apermil Dare, Elzo, Claudio Tafal, and Gilberto Silva. The club is the ninth most valuable in Brazil, worth almost $94 million. In terms of revenue, Atla Copyright Tico Mineiro is also one of Brazil's richest sports club and the tenth biggest football club in Brazil, generating an annual turnover of over $54 million in 2012. History, Foundation and Early Wins Clube Atla Copyright Tico Mineiro was founded on March 25, 1908 by 22 boys from Belo Horizonte. The founding players were, Alex and Alves Pereira, Antonio Antunes Filho, Augusto Soares, Benjamin Moss Filho, Carlos Marcial, Arico Carter Pando, Horacio Machado, Hugo Francarelli, Humberto Moreira, Joe Pando Barbosa Sobrino, Jose Copyright Soares Alves, Ja Leo Meanses Malo, Leonidas Falca NCIO, Majival Mendes Leal, Mario Hermans and Lot Massachusetts Rio Neves, Mario Toledo, Raul Fracarelli and Sinval Moreira three other boys who were not in the founding meeting, but are considered as founders to are, Francisco Montero, Jorge Diaz Pena and Mauro Brachado. The boys decided that the club's name would be Atletico Mineiro Football Club, and the kit would be a white shirt with a green horizontal strip on the chest. Soon after, they decided to change the kit to the black-white strip shirt which is used nowadays. Atla Copyright Tico's first match was against Sport Club Football, the biggest and oldest club in Belo Horizonte at the time. The match was played on March 21, 1909, and Atla Copyright Tico won 3 a Euro 0. Furious, Sports Board demanded that Atla Copyright Tico play a rematch the following week to get revenge, to which Atla Copyright Tico agreed. Atla Copyright Tico won again, but this time the score was 4 a Euro 0. In 1913, 
the club officially changed its name from Atletico Mineiro Football Club to Club Atletico Copyrightico Mineiro. The following year, in 1914, Atletico Copyrightico won its first championship, the Tour Section of Bueno Branda Poundo, a tournament between Atletico Copyrightico, Arma Copyright Rica and Yale. In 1915, the club won the first Minas Gerais State Championship in history which was organized by the Liga Mineira de Esports Terrestres. From then on, Atla Copyright Tico's team consisted of three of the club's best players in history, said, Gyro and Mario de Castro. They scored a combined total of four goals, one from Gyro, one from Sed and two from Mario de Castro. In the 1930s, the club won the state championships of 1931, 1932, 1936, 1938 and 1939. In 1937, Atla Copyright won the first national championship of its history, the Brazilian Champions Tournament, which included the champions of four states, Fluminense, Portuguesa, Rio Branco, and Atla Copyright Tico. Atla Copyright Tico dominated the football scene of Minas Gerais State in the 1940s and 1950s, winning no less than 12 state championships between 1940 and 1960, including five championships in a row sequence, from 1952 to 1956. In 1950, Atla Copyright Tico accomplished one of the most celebrated achievements in its history by winning the symbolic title of Ice Champion after a successful tour in Europe, where the team played against clubs like Schalke 04, Hamburger SV, and RSC Anderlecht. The 1960s were known as the decade in which the Manera Pando Stadium was built, but they were difficult times for the club. During this period, they only managed to win the state champions of 1962 and 1963. It was in the mid-1960s that the rivalry with Cruzeiro became strong, after the Blue Club won five state championships in a row. In October 1969, Atla Copyright Tico beat the Brazilian national team that would become champions of the 1970 FIFA World Cup by 2 Euro 1 at the Mineira Poundo. Brazilian champions, it was only in 1970 that Atla Copyright Tico won its first championship in Mineira Poundo Stadium, breaking Cruzeiro's five titles sequence. In 1971, the club won its first and only Brazilian championship in history. In 1976, Atla Copyright Tico won the state championship again and also finished in third place in the 1976 Brazilian Championship. They also finished runners-up in the 1977 Championship, despite not being defeated for the entire season. In 1978, Atla Copyright Tico won the Champions Cup, a tournament between the past winners of the Brazilian Championship, defeating Zar Pando Paulo Futebol Clube in the final. Since 1977 Atla Copyright Tico made a great team, that would last until the middle of the 1980s, one of the best in its history. This team that had players like Reynaldo, Danino Cerezo, Apur Milder, Luis Inu, Paulo Isidoro, Joe Poundo Light won the state championship six times in a row, from 1978 to 1983, winning also in 1985, 1986, 1988 and 1989. Atla Copyright Tico also had good performances in the Brazilian Championship, having the best campaign for four times 77, 80, 83, 85. Political and arbitration scandals prevented Atla Copyright Tico to win. In 1977, Reinaldo, the historical scorer of Brazilian Championship in that year was forbidden to play the final, supposedly by his insistence in celebrating his goals raising his fist in a symbol of left politics opposed to Brazil military regimen of the time. Atla Copyright Tico got the two a place with the best campaign of Brazilian championship ever, finishing with 17 victories and four draws. In 1980, a scandal of arbitration would eliminate Atla Copyright Tico in the final, with Reinaldo receiving red card after scoring twice. In the next year Atla Copyright Tico would be eliminated from Copa Libertadores without losing a match after having five players receiving red card in a game known as the Big Stick Up. Atla Copyright Tico was also third placed in 1983, 1986 and in the Gold Cup of 1987. The 1990s onwards, in the 1990s, 
Atler Copyright Tico won the state championships in 1991, 1995 and in 1999 and had some good performances in Brazilian championships, finishing runner-up in 1999, third placed in 1996 and fourth placed in 1994 and 1997. In 1992, Atler Copyright Tico won the Ku Medal Cup, the club's first official international title, which was won again in 1997. Twice the team had the top goal scorer of Brasileira Pando, in 1996 with Ronaldo and in 1999 with Golem. The financial situation turned worse in the late 1990s, with a scandal involving the then Atler Copyright Tico's president Paulo Curi and, the 2000s did not start well for Atler Copyright Tico, as the club had suffered serious crisis. Atler Copyright Tico won only the state championship in 2000, and was runner-up in 2001 and in 2004. In 2000, it reached the Copa Libertadores quarter-finals, and was fourth placed in the Brazilian Championship in 2001. In 2004, Atla Copyright Tico almost got relegation to Zar Copyright Ribe 2005 started disastrously, and was the worst year in its history. The club was relegated to Brazilian Second Division. In 2006 the club won the Brazilian League Zar Copyright Ribe after a good campaign, qualifying to play the Brazilian League Zar Copyright Ribe in 2007. That year, Atla Copyright Tico won the Campeonato Mineiro again, defeating their rival Scruat Ciro in the final. After its promotion, the club managed to finish eighth in the 2007 Brasileira Pando, earning a spot at the Copa Sudamericana 2008. In 2009, Atla Copyright Tico led the Brasileira Pando in eight of the 38 rounds, and finished in seventh place. Striker Diego Tardelli was the top goal scorer of the championship, and the biggest overall of the year in Brazilian football, with 57. In 2010, the team won his 40th Campeonato Mineiro. In 2012, Atla Copyright Tico commenced another successful era, hearkening back to the 1940s, 1950s and 1990s, winning its 41st state championship without losing a match, including a 3-0 win over their rivals Arma Copyright Rica in the final. They finished the state championship with an overall record of 11 victories and 4 draws, having won 10 straight matches. Later in that year, Atla Copyright Tico, led by Ronaldinho Atla Copyright Tico finished runner-up in the Brazilian Championship after leading for 15 consecutive rounds. Atla Copyright Tico finished with 72 points overall, was the top goal-scoring team in the championship, and earned a spot in the group stages of the Copa Libertadores, Copa Libertadores champions, in 2013. Atla Copyright Tico once again started strong with 10 straight wins in their first 11 games of the year with four victories in the Copa Libertadores including a 5-2 away win over Argentinian side Arsenal de Saranda and six victories in the state championship, including a 5-2 victory over their rivals Arma Copyright Rica Futebol Club. Atla Copyright Tico reached on July 10, 2013 the finals of the Copa Libertadores 2013 for the first time in the club's history defeating Argentinian side Newell's Old Boys in a penalty shootout by a score of 3-2 after losing the first leg by 2-0 and winning the second leg by 2-0. On July 24, 2013, Atla Copyright Tico won the Copa Libertadores for the first time in their history. They defeated Paraguayan side Olympia of Asuncion in a penalty shootout by a score of 4-3 after losing the first leg by 2-0 and winning the second leg by 2-0. Honours International Competitions, Continental, Copa Libertadores, Winners, 2013 Copa Cú Winners, 1992, 1997 Runner-up, 1995 Recopa Sudamericana Winners, 2014. Copa de Oro, runner-up, 1993. Copa Master de Cumebol, runner-up, 1996. Worldwide, FIFA Club World Cup, third place, 2013. Domestic competitions, national, Tsar Copyright Rye, winner, 1971. Runners-up, 1977, 1980, 1999, 2012. Champions Cup, winner, 
1937. Champions Cup, winner, 1978. Tsar Copyright Ryby, winner, 2006. Regional, Campeonato Monero, winners, 1915, 1926, 1927, 1931, 1932, 1936, 1938, 1939, 1941, 1942, 1946, 1947, 1949, 1950, 1952, 1953, 1954, 1955, 1956, 1958, 1960, 1962, 1963, 1970, 1976, 1978, 1979, 1980, 1981, 1982, 1983, 1985, 1986, 1988, 1989, 1991, 1995, 1999, 2000, 2007, 2010, 2012, 2013. Runners up, 1916, 1917, 1918, 1921, 1928, 1929, 1934, 1935, 1940, 1943, 1944, 1948, 1951, 1966, 1967, 1968, 1969, 1972, 1974, 1975, 1977, 1984, 1987, 1990, 1993, 1994, 1996, 1998, 2001, 2003, 2004, 2008, 2009, 2011, 2014. Tour section and Minas Gerais, winner, 1975, 1976, 1979, 1986, 1987. Runners up, 1973, 1982, 1983, 1985. Tour section of Below Horizonte, winner, 1970, 1971, 1972. Initium Tournament, winner, 1928, 1931, 1932, 1939, 1947, 1949, 1950, 1954. Runners up, 1922, 1929, 1935, 1936, 1940, 1941, 1946, 1948, 1953, 1956, 1963, 1964. Champions Cup, winner, 1974. Runners up, 1999. Incentives Tournament, winner, 1993. Below Horizonte Cup, winner, 1959. Runners up, 1960, 1961. Bueno Branda Pando Cup, winner, 1914. Performances in Brazilian Championships, at La Copyright Tico's Performances in the Brazilian Championship Year by Year, officially, for CBF, the fifth. Sometimes considered the third. C. Copa Unia Pando, at La Copyright Tico was relegated to play the Brazilian League's R Copyright Rai B in the next year. Atla Copyright Tico played and won the Brazilian League Tsar Copyright Rai B, qualifying to play the Tsar Copyright Rai A in 2007. Current squad, note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Out on loan, note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. First team staff, as of February 2014. Notable head coaches, the coaches with most matches in Atla Copyright Tico's history are, Tela Santana, Proca Cubed Pio Cardoso, Barbatana, Levi Culpi, Ricardo Di Copyright Z, Cuca, other head coaches, current kit, first, black with white vertical stripes. Second, White with black numbers and details. Other kits, 2012, 2011, 2010, 2009, 2008. Supporters, 
Atla Copyright Tico is the club which attracted most people to Manera Poundo. As of 2002, 20,887,391 people in 1,011 matches. Even with 51 less games than the second-placed crew at Ciro, Atla Copyright Tico brought 1,542,884 people more. These stats do not include derbies. Atla Copyright Tico's average attendances per year in Brazilian Championship, from 2010 until now, Atla Copyright Tico is playing its home matches on smaller arenas like Arena do Jacara Copyright, 17,000 people, and the Estadio Independa NCIA, 25,000 people, because of the renovation of Mineira Poundo, which is a capacity of 62,170 people, for the 2014 FIFA World Cup. However, Atla Copyright Tico's president said, that the club intends to build its own stadium instead of using other arenas. After the first in 2006 Atla Copyright Tico competed in the Tsar Copyright Ribe, Derbies, Atla Copyright Tico plays two derbies in Belo Horizonte, Atla Copyright Tico vs Arma Copyright Rica and Atla Copyright Tico vs Cruet Ciro. Until the 1950s and early 1960s. The biggest derby in Minas Gerais was Atla Copyright Tico vs Arma Copyright Rica, but from the mid-1960s on, Atla Copyright Tico vs Cruet Ciro became the biggest. The Atla Copyright Tico vs Cruet Ciro derby has been played 434 times, with 169 wins for Atla Copyright Tico, 144 wins for Cruet Ciro and 121 draws. Atla Copyright Tico vs Arma Copyright Rica has been played 376 times, with 186 wins for Atla Copyright Tico, 100 wins for Arma Copyright Rica and 90 draws. The biggest win against Cruet Ciro was 9-2 on November 27, 1927. The Rooster, the team's mascot, the Rooster, is one of the best-known mascots in the country. It was created in the 1940s by Fernando Piracetti a cartoonist for a Folha de Minas newspaper. He was designated to design a mascot for each of the three greatest clubs in Belo Horizonte. According to Piracetti, the symbol of Atla Copyright Tico was the rooster because the team used to play with plenty of passion, and would never give up until the end of each match, just like roosters used in cock fights. Another reason is that the most popular hen breed raised in Brazil has mostly black and white feathers, thus making the rooster suitable. Presidents, references. External links, official website, A Rooster with Plenty to Crow About, article by FIFA.